Hi and welcome to The Honest Channel. I'm Claire Johnston, a journalist on a mission to find out how to look and feel good for longer and share that with you. Now, we all know what a big difference makeup can make. When it's well applied, it can take years off you. And when it's badly applied, it can add years on. Now, I have almost zero skill with a makeup brush, as is evident in some of these clips of me from videos gone by where I look like I opened an eyeshadow palette and just rubbed my face in it. In fact, I may have actually done that. These days, I tend to just keep it simple, but I was keen to learn some easy tips specifically for mature skin to make our eyes look bigger, contour the nose, highlight in the right places, learn how to apply eyeliner properly, and how to get evenly volumized lips with a pencil. To help me do that, I asked one of the nicest makeup artists in the business. She is New York-based Marianne Gotas, and she works with the Surat Makeup Company. Now, generally, I don't spend a lot on makeup, and I have my budget favorites that I think are brilliant and I use day to day, and I'll share those with you in the video description if you just click below where it says show more. But Surat make one of my favorite makeup products of all time, and it's this highlighting stick. It's an absolute game changer, I think. Again, I will link to it below. It's about $54, but it is long lasting, and I've got a 15% discount code in the description for the Surat site as well. In the UK, it sells for around £50 on Cult Beauty. Every time I wear it, people comment on how my skin is glowing because it's such a subtle, natural, dewy glow. And it's the reason I came across Marianne because I had some questions about how best to apply some of the products in the range. And she was so lovely, I asked her if she'd do this super easy to follow makeup tutorial for mature skin. So I hope you find her tips as helpful as I did. We're gonna be doing some um, tips today really for uh, ladies like me with more mature skin, just a quick sort of glam look for a, a night out, something that's easy for, for novices like me who have absolutely no idea what I'm doing, as you're going to find out. Amazing. So the first thing we're gonna do, Claire, is take our concealer. Yes. Okay, that's the little one. Yes, and we're going to use this as a lid base. So you're gonna basically Go on the entire lid from lash to brow. Okay. And just do a nice layer of that so you have a nice base for the shadow we're going to do. Okay, so is this really like a primer? It acts as a primer, but it's also an amazing concealer because not many women realize that when you have darkness under your eyes, you also have them on your lids. Mm -hmm. So it gets rid of the darkness twofold. So it's okay. going to help with the darkness on your lids as well. So now we're going to take our classic round brush. Okay. And we're going to apply the ingenue shadow, which is that really beautiful pink. Yep. Okay, and, and I'm just... From lash to crease. Okay, how much of that am I taking then? Quite... Yeah, a healthy amount. And this is just going to give us a nice little shimmer. So we want to use a light color on the base, do we? Exactly. All right. Now we're going to go in with our crease color, which is our grayish. And we're going to use the tip of this brush. Okay. And that's where we're, yep, that's where we're going to apply the crease color. And that's kind of a back and forth, almost like a windshield wiper motion and then a little bit on the outer corners on the bottom a little bit on the outer just corners like, like that okay just like that yep so like for hooded eyes like mine what, what's mm -hmm. this doing then oh gosh it's right. giving you dimension that you don't normally have and it's I certainly don't have dimension yeah i don't either i have the same hooded eyes you do <laughs> my dimension went a long time ago uh, so did mine girl it's all good <laughs> Okay, so is that looking about right? Yeah, that looks beautiful. Good job. Okay, and I've got to do the other one. Keep up, Claire. <laughs> yeah, and it's it's good doing this with a, a bigger brush, actually, because I've attempted this before, but with a much smaller brush or my finger, and then it kind of, it never really blends very well, so I can see a difference. Yep, and you don't, it doesn't blend, and you don't get the placement that you need. Yeah, okay, I've remembered that. Use a bigger brush. Good tip. Okay, how am I doing? Do I have a job yet? 
Oh, beautiful. Yes, you okay. do. <laughs> Take a little bit more of your ingenue and now smooth over. Is the ingenue, right. is that the brown? No, that's the pink one. Back to the pink. Okay. Back to the pink. Okay. And you're just going to blend where the lid meets the crease so that there's not a stark contrast that it's blended a little more. Okay. Just like that. Perfect. Good job. Now we're going to break out our liquid liner. <laughs> liquid liner. Okay. I think I've got it. Let me just see. Yes. There we go. Yes. Now this one All gives right. me the fear. Okay. This one gives no, me the fear because okay. I'm like that and I no, get a kind of zigzag. And all we're doing this time before we okay. do our foundation is we're going to do a little bit of underneath. So all you're right. going to draw a little line. Okay. All right. Just underneath. And once you've done that, you're going to take your little concealer brush and your darker shadow again and go over that. All right. Perfect. So now you're going to take your gray shadow again and your little concealer brush, and you're going to smudge over what you just lined on the underneath. All right. Okay. I'm doing that now. Really doesn't help that my near vision's going as well. I mean. Oh, my near vision is shot. If I didn't have contact lenses in right now, I wouldn't be able to see anything. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully we're we're circling our eyes right now and not something else. But. No, I, I can see that you're doing a great job. And I think I'm doing pretty well as well. Okay. We're hanging in there. <laughs> okay. Amazing. So if it seems a little dark under the eye, that's okay. We're going mm -hmm. to smooth that out with our concealer. So okay. we're going to now break out our dew drop foundation. And that's, that's the foundation one. of our little dropper. I've had a sneaky cheat with this. I've used, I've tried this before. I really like it. It's very light. It yeah, it lovely really glow. Good. We've got a dropper on this, which is lovely. Yeah, so yep. I just, I'm doing a few drops on the back of the hand, am I? Absolutely. Okay. And really a few drops of this is all you're going to need. Like that kind of amount? Yeah, perfect. Okay. Okay, so now fingertips. <laughs> and start applying all over the face. Okay, I feel like- Just I of course not on your lids where we did the shadow. Oh, I'm glad you reminded me of that. <laughs> and this gives light coverage, but it really evens out your skin beautifully. And I yeah. love that it gives a dewy, glowy radiant. Oh, that's it. I was going to say, there's a little bit of a glow in this, which is really nice. And it is exceptionally light. Absolutely. Now you're going to take your fingertips uh -huh. and reach up to where you lined. Okay. So you're almost smoothing out where you lined underneath the eye. Just very slightly. How am I doing on that? So you're doing a great job. So it's blended a little bit more than it was when we started out. Okay. Perfect. All right. Now you're going to take your little concealer stick again. Mm -hmm. And this is where we're going to go in um, with our, you can use your wipe off your little concealer brush and use the concealer brush or you can use your fingertips, whatever you All prefer. Right. Okay, I'll give it a go with the, the concealer brush because I've never done that before. Yep, I like to use the little petite concealer brush in those little hard to reach places. It really okay. works very well. But first, you're going to take your little concealer mm -hmm. and kind of draw underneath the eye. There you go, right there. And then up a little more as well on the outer corners, like that, right. There you go. Okay. okay. Now get your little concealer brush in there, load it up with a little bit of concealer and smooth out what you lined earlier. Perfect. And then again on the other side. 
that way and that's perfect that way it's defined a little bit underneath but it's not over defined yeah that's great okay now you're going to take your ring finger and mm -hmm. blend and pat in what you drew with your concealer perfect and this is an amazing concealer as well like say you had a little blemish anywhere you can draw a little bit and then pat it in yeah okay well i'm seeing the difference already yep this is beautiful skin in the making perfect okay and then sometimes there's people have a little redness around the nose area you mm -hmm. can use your fingertip and pat a little bit of the concealer product in those areas wherever you want a little bit of extra coverage you'll then go in okay. with the concealer all right now we're ready for some bronzer and add a little bit of color back to our face so we're okay. going to take our chalure color yeah i got that and our big powder brush big powder we're going big yeah. all right we're going big go in there and do little circles okay tap it out a little bit now you're going to start in the middle section of your face right here circle rolling motion okay you got it and keep doing that as needed add more product to your brush as you need i'm going to do more for the other side and what's the idea with um with bronzer what do we how what do we want to do with it what are we hoping to achieve We're giving the skin a beautiful sun-kissed look it brings the mm. face alive it really does add nice color to the skin it makes you look like you're healthy you were out in the sun a little bit you're getting your vitamin d now circle a little bit more and on the forehead okay. little circle and i've heard people saying we, we do this up here to shorten the forehead is that right you know just absolutely Okay. Yeah, you can do that to shorten the forehead as well, but it's just where you would look up to the sun and where the color would hit your face naturally. Yeah, okay, got you. And I normally do a little bit under my chin as well. Just I do I too. <laughs> Doesn't hurt. Do we do? Do you use bronzer on the for nose contouring or anything like that? Because I could really do with a bit of nose contour. You absolutely can, but if you want to do a little nose contouring, you can do use your grayish color and use your little concealer brush yeah this actually has more combo of red brown and gray shadows in it so it's right. going to give more of a natural shadow on the nose and this okay. you would start up there right okay yep i saw victoria beckham doing this the other day and um i was trying it a little bit with a an eye pencil as well an eyebrow pencil oh um and it's just great the difference it can make actually if you want to it really it does yeah i swear my nose has got bigger as i've got older they say it can <laughs> what kind of indignity is coming next you got the big nose and... yeah, i know i'm telling you so i'm doing that down here is that right yes that's perfect and then a little bit there yes okay now i want you to take your little angled sculpting brush mm -hmm. okay and blend it you're going to go kind of up and down where you just drew that so it's not a stark line it's actually yeah. a little more blended okay perfect all right it makes a nice difference it yeah, really does great. doesn't it oh okay great perfect now let's take out our little highlighter our torch lumiere is this the pink oh no this is my favorite no this is your this favorite is this is the, the yes this yeah. is the i call it the glow stick it's the magic stick <laughs> it is because it's because it's liquid i've got powders um highlighter powders right. but they can start the, drying into the lines basically but Absolutely. this keeps it moist. this does not so you're going to do right on your cheekbones yeah, and blend with your fingertip. Okay. Uh, up to here? Always up. Yes. Mm -hmm. Like that? Perfect. Okay. And blend with my fingertips. Yep. Oh, it's just lovely. It's creamy. I love this. It's yeah. such a beautiful product. This is the one where um, I have been cheating and wearing this over the last week. And um, I love that people at work were like, your skin's looking really good today. I love it. So now you want to take a little bit of this and go down the bridge of the nose. 
Okay, great. And then again, blend. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. And then this is also going to be your brow highlighting color. So okay. you're going to take some on your fingertip. Now you're going to go right underneath your brow with it. Lovely. And that just smooths on. And that just lifts the eye, brings light to the, the brow area, brings your eye to life. Really beautiful. I love this. Mm, the really torchlight beam makes a big difference. Yeah, and it then does. If you want to get really fancy, you can take your fingertip and do a little bit right above your your upper lip on the cupid's bow. Why not? Why not? <laughs> fancy is where it's at. Okay. Now we're ready for blush. This is the. Um, it's actually the parfait, so it's kind of like a beautiful combination of pink and apricot. Yeah, this Whisk is nice. Up from the bottom. And the product comes right into that sponge there. I actually like to use my fingertip because I feel like I have more control that way. And you're just going to smile and go right on the apple of the cheek. Am I taking it further up? You can if you'd like to. Blush you're is concentrating a really on the apple. Yes. Oh. Primarily on the apple of the cheek. Okay. This is a really pretty natural color and i like that it's liquid again i'm moving towards liquids in makeup uh just Absolutely. because they're a little a little kinder um when it Absolutely. comes to showing up and not showing up lines you know less drying yeah. on the skin agreed that's okay. beautiful now let's go in and fill our brows in okay with our brow pencil okay i don't want to put mascara so let's racing ahead there okay <laughs> okay just twist up a little bit of what you need and uh -huh. brows are a preference so you're going to fill in as you like i like a little more shape to my brow so i kind of go in there and make a little bit more brow than i actually have yeah but... i got mine microbladed about a year ago and right. whoa so you don't really need to do that no, it's it's fading slightly, but it, it just really helps me keep the lines because before they were, you, you know, when I was trying to draw them in and I had really nothing there, it just wasn't. Really yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, I like to make a little bit more of a shape to mine and the brow pencil, because it's so nice and thin, allows me to do that. And then this is a great tool because you have this great spoolie brush on the other side. It's okay. kind of like a mascara wand, and it allows you to comb the color and the brow hair together. And you have okay. a really beautiful, nicely groomed brow. I am now going to go in with our brow pomade in the light. Right. And this is what's going to tame our brow. So the brow pomade was made to mimic men's mustache wax. So it just gives a little bit of color to the brow and tames the brow, but it doesn't make it crunchy. The brow is still pliable when you're done. And I love this brush. So you're going to take a little bit, wipe the wand off a little bit so you don't get too much brow pomade on your brow. Mm -hmm. And just very light-handed, go in there and comb the brow as you would like it to be. Perfect. And then again on the other side. And this is just going to tame the brow, keep it in place for you all day. Okay. Well, we don't want flyaway brows, so that's No good. one does. No. And it's a more youthful appearance when your brows are tamed. All right. Yeah. Now we're ready. We're getting to the scary part a little bit for you. But, <laughs> but first, we're going to curl. Okay. So <laughs> So let's curl our lashes, get right in there to the base of the lash I mean, and give it a good couple of squeezes. Oh God, I feel like I'm gonna snap my lashes off. That's the beauty of this curler. It's very gentle. You're never gonna harm your lashes with this. We actually were voted, we won a lower best of for this curler and it's actually our best selling product in the entire line. Oh, right. That's interesting. Yeah. So squeeze quite hard. Yes. You will not harm your lashes. It's only going to, excuse me, curl and open okay. that eye beautifully. It works yeah. really, really, really well. All right. 
Now it's time to break out our liquid liner again. Oh, <laughs> this is where the nervous tick comes on, right? <laughs> but you did amazing last time, Claire. <laughs> the trick with liquid liner is not to try and draw one big straight line. You're going to go in the middle and just do little dashes right next to your eyelashes and wing it out a little bit at the end. Then you can go back in nearer to your nose and connect the dots and draw that line. Perfect. Okay. Doing dashes is less intimidating than trying to do a line. Yep, and lots of people are in your shoes. That's why the little dashes helps tremendously. And it still gives you the beautiful winged eye that we all love. Yeah, because I love seeing that, you know, younger people at work, they have these fabulous winged eyes. And I'm just like, how? Exactly. Well, you're well on your way. Great job. Let's give me a pass for that one. Yes. But I just tipped over the pass. I was almost <laughs> in the tail zone. You're hilarious. I love it. <laughs> now we're ready for our Releve Mascara. Okay. Mascara I can do. And this mascara is our tubing technology mascara. So it never smears or flakes. And you're just going to kind of go up and then a little bit on top like so. Ooh, and okay. that New technique. Yep. That's going to encapsulate each eyelash and really give your eyelashes a beautiful lift. And it's going to build and thicken as well. Excellent. Nice. So you don't blink when you apply. Some people do the old, they, they sort of I blink. try not to. Yeah. yeah. I, but if, if blinking works for you, then that's okay. Because my yeah. favorite saying is when it comes to makeup, there really are no rules. As long as the finished product is what you're happy with, you did the yeah. right thing. Okay. That's all. And you do on the lower lash at all. I sure do. And my trick for the lower lashes is to hold the brush like so. I like to hold okay. the brush long ways. And I feel like that helps you not to, to mess up more. It oh, keeps it too. cleaner underneath. Yeah. Gives you more control. Okay. I'm all about more control. <laughs> all right. Now we're ready to complete our look with our lip. We've got a strong color, which I love. Yep. We have our uh, La Baton Rouge in Bonne. And then we have our lip pencil, the Modern East Lip Pencil in Embrace a Moi. So let's draw the shape that we like our lip to be with our lip pencil. This is the Embrace a Moi? Yes, we oui, Embrace a Moi. I'm going to be using that a lot. I love this. Any tip for putting on the lip liner, especially like here? If you have um, lips that are not quite asymmetrical, let's draw up instead of down. So draw your lip up and then up. Okay. Up is a little bit more controlled, I gotta say. Exactly. That's gonna give you more control and it's also gonna help you even out your lip. And then on the bottom, and fun fact about the sharpener is that on the other side, if you want it, you actually have a sharpener that's built in. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Yeah. So you can Got actually it. sharpen it if you wanted to and then click it right back on and you travel with it. All right. Now let's take our lipstick in Le Baton Rouge in Bonne and fill in our lips. So this looks kind of like a liner. Yeah. Um, but it's nice and creamy. It absolutely is. Now, when I was younger, I couldn't take a strong lip at all. And it's funny how as you age, you know, your, your face changes and... You sure can. It looks great on you. Thank now, you. on the yeah. other side of this pencil, of this yeah. lip, if you want to twist this off, fun surprise, you have a mattifying matching powder that you can then dab over what you just drew and it will mattify your lip and keep it on that much longer for you. That is very cool. I like that. All right. 
we did this in just under a half an hour. Yeah, I mean, that was quick because we were talking too. If you were just doing it at yeah, home. Absolutely. But I like to show people that, you know, this look is completely achievable in a very short amount of time. I know. I love that. And I, I mean, you, you've yeah. taught me my, my big hazards really are lip liner and the eyeliner. And I like the tip for um, shattering under the eye as well and just making it look a little just bit Just it. Yeah. Brilliant. Yeah. Thank you very much, Marianne. I appreciate that. Now I've got nowhere to go. I think I'm going to have to go to the grocery store with my face looking like this. I think you need to go somewhere, Claire. Definitely. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's either the grocery store or walking the dog. Go to the grocery store. More people will see you. That's <laughs> almost like a date. So <laughs> like... <laughs> yeah, that's what I'll do. Perfect. Well it's been my pleasure. I hope to do this again with you. Yeah, no, absolutely. I've loved it. We'll do, we'll style up another look next time when I'm a dab hand with a, you know, next time I'll be an aficionado at, at the makeup. I'll be giving you the tutorial. Perfect. <laughs> Looking forward to it. <laughs> Some of those easy application tips from Marianne there have given me so much more confidence when it comes to applying makeup, particularly around my eyes where I've been using her lining technique with my favorite eye pencil and it really helps make my eyes look bigger, I think. Similarly, I use her tip of drawing upwards to get an even lip line and that's been making a difference too. Before I go, I have a quick favor because if you enjoy my videos, then by giving them a thumbs up, you help increase their reach. And of course, I'd love for you to subscribe and keep up with my latest reviews, interviews and tutorials as I publish them. Let me know in the comments if you found this helpful or if you have any easy makeup tips to share with us. What are your makeup favorites? For now, Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.